Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have a uh, bit more of a uh, bankruptcy news. Seems that uh, Vice Medicine, Vice, Vice Medicine, Jesus, Vice Media to sell itself as a files for bankruptcy. That doesn't seem very good, considering you know it was doing so great. Well, it's not, and it's uh, failing. We have this: is a Soros fund fortress among leader among leader group that bid roughly two hundred twenty-five million for former general uh, media darling. So we have here the Vice Media has received more a risk rescue offer and filed for bankruptcy protection a tracking term for digital news dar uh, darling once pr promised to un up in mainstream media. Bank, the bank agency filing marks the latest downfall of media upstarts that years ago command high sky, uh, sky high valuate, valuations, only to struggle to compete with the likes of media platforms, Facebook and Apple, Google for for ad dollars. Yeah, so uh, it's not doing too great here. Um, but we're not ready to be surprised by this, right? Because you know, if, if this happens consistently, and what have you, and. Uh, uh, woke media is um, dying. That does not mean that uh, Twitter is also not dying, considering the mere fact that Twitter is um, a shell of its once uh, self. So, so it says here the company whose assets include Vice News, Vice TV, Friday Twenty Nine, and Motherboard on Monday said a group of its creditors, including Soros Fund Management, Fortress Investment, and Morano Capital, has agreed to buy Vice for two hundred twenty-five million and take on a significant liabilities. The agreement is to subject to higher bids from other parties. It said. The bankruptcy filing marks in the latest downfall in the wave of digital media platforms that once threatened traditional news outlets. The company's visual, visually compelling and edgy style of storytelling often resulted in its news reports and documentaries going viral. Vice filed for Chapter 11 protection in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the Southern District of New York. This accelerated court supervised sale process will strengthen the company and position Vice for long-term growth. Bruce Dixon and Hosva uh, Lakandala, Vice's show chief consultant, said in a statement. Vice said its media brand will continue to produce content. Substantially, all of the company's international entities and the Vice TV joint venture aren't part of the Chapter 11 filing. It said the company uh, the company said it w had received funding from bidders to uh, to maintain operations. Vice had said it expects the fin financing and cash generated from ongoing operations to fund its business during the sale process, which I had to pay to close in the next two to three months. Vice has its roots in Montreal's underground publishing scene. The company new investment from 21st Century Fox and private uh, equi equity firms as the digital media boom kicked off in the early 2010s, but failed to mature into a major media force, much like the upstart digital news organizations that are now in distress or closing down. Last month, BuzzFeed said it was closing BuzzFeed's news after it continued to lose money. Right to save. Okay, so we have this here. Yeah, and this has to happen to BuzzFeed, and I think it's going to happen to a lot of companies in in, in coming times. I think it's. I think uh, the economy um, has a lot to do with this, but also uh, again, most companies that are doing well are not doing are not doing horrible. Are staying afloat. They're not collapsing. Not not faltering. They're doing fine. Whereas companies like this or whatever are faltering or falling in into utter and utter chaos or just complete bankruptcy, we have this year that uh, um, that they are restructuring resources. We're taking decisive steps to strengthen our financial position and achieve long-term growth. Below is some of the information regarding the financial restructuring that Vice commenced on May fifteenth, twenty twenty-three. So uh, obviously it says here, Vice agreed to the terms of an, act of an asset purchase agreement (APA) with an consortium uh, of its lenders. The lender consortium, pursuant to which the lend lender consortium has agreed to purchase the company, subject to, uh, subject to higher and better bids from other parties, and to the terms of the APA. So yeah, we this is a lot of the things that's uh, like you know ongoing here, um, and, and what have you. We have this from Max Tani, by his email to staff regarding the company's decision to file for bankruptcy. Now, we're probably going to read a little bit of this. Maybe not all. But we'll see. Um, but... It says here, this morning, Vice Child filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in protection in, in, in the Southern District of New York. As part of this process, or our lenders, including Fortress Investment Group, Soros Fund Management, blah, 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 uh, uh, as a sale process on Section 363 of the Bankruptcy Code. With this action, VMG has taken necessary steps to step forward in our plan to achieve long-term financial health and stability for the company and secure the vice of media. So yeah, it's telling you all this stuff. These are four important points you should understand. 
which you know what have you but here's some other things that you that we want to get into the q a and uh the more important uh more important things um so we have uh uh i'm talking about chapter 11 but we're only going to do the twos threes and so forth because some of these are are just an important i'm pretty sure what everybody knows what bankruptcy is and what have you and we need to get down to what more important stuff there is. Uh, over, uh, what is, why is Vice taking these actions and why now? Over the last several months, our board and management team have worked with advisors to evaluate a range of strategic options to improve our financial wealth and protect the long-term viability of Vice. We've chosen to undertake a core unmanaged um, sale process with the support and commitment of our lenders as a culmination of its evaluation. We believe it is the best outcome for all Vice stakeholders, safeguarding the kind of journalism and content creation that makes Vice special while strengthening the company's capital uh, structure and positioning Vice for sustained growth. Uh, who are Fortune's Investment and Soros Fund of, uh, Management and Martin Rowe Capital. Fortune's Investment, LSC, Soros Fund Management and Martin Rowe Capital are some of the lenders that have been investors in Vice for several years. We all know that a lot of these world medias are funded by George Soros. This is not really a surprise here, but nonetheless. We believe in the value of Vice and our brand and the journalism and content creation for, for which we are known. The sale agreement and the investments they are making in our business confirms that. So there's more here um, that we have. What is an SL agreement to be APA? Does that doesn't matter? It's going Vice going out of business. No, VMG will continue to produce and deliver award-winning content across its platforms throughout this process. We expect the company to emerge stronger than ever. I don't see how that's going to happen considering the fact that you've been lying to people for years now and you've always been considered a joke organization, a joke media's outlet. So I don't see where that is really going to be going. And in fact, I would say that your awards are half-baked and not based off of reality. But that's just me. Um, will the court suppress the structure affect prostate day operations? Will any of my brands stop producing content? Yes, etc. But we have the bigger thing here, guys. So probably the one big thing that we have here is 27. What happens to severance and other separation benefits? The companies have an intention to make uh, severance payments to, to impact employees, but some are subject to bankruptcy court approved, which could impact timing and amount. So, yeah. Um, how will bonuses be affected? We do not currently expect any change in change in incentive plans. The company is being sold, and its new owners may have a fresh approach to employee matters, which means the employees may not get anything. Because it looks like it looks like question seven, twenty-seven uh, has a little bit of a different font. Even people here that says if that's a legit font change in the middle of twenty number twenty-seven, I'd be concerned. Yeah, so uh, it, there seems to be a bit of an issue. So. See, look, see, everything seems to be normal, and then all of a sudden there is just a weird font here that doesn't be that that uh, seems to be a problem. Uh, so yeah, it, it, I don't know. Um, I think that uh, some things are happening here that uh, that may not be good, and um, I, I I don't know. I think that the media is slowly falling and going down into flames, and um, it's hilarious nonetheless. And I think that uh, this is a, a great cause of concern for everyone involved. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well, Vice going down. Going out of flames. We love to see it. Woke media is falling. And we'll hopefully get more independent media going forward. Uh, assuming uh, uh, Elon Musk will fix the garbage that is now going to be Twitter with the whole new CEO. But, of course, Elon Musk is a little bit autistic sometimes. So, be as it may. All right, guys, that's the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.